Mahaprabhu's words regarding sannyas ashram are very cutting and pointed. They leave no room for doubt that such conduct may not be tolerated. But we live in an age where association with women cannot be avoided, even for sannyasis. How should a sannyasi handle women association, especially in an organization like ISKCON? Has Prabhupada given any instruction on this matter? How the sannyasi should handle women? Well, uh, sannyasi is a spiritual teacher in our ISKCON movement, and uh, definitely he instructs both men and women. But for sannyasi, intimate association with women is prohibited. So, uh, in, in the dealings with the women who are devotees in the East Coast should not be a problem because our dear uh, women devotees should, are trained to respectfully approach sannyas, not alone with somebody and accompany them, with husband, with some senior, other devotee. They don't come alone and speak and they don't write some private letters to sannyasis in that sense. You know. And uh, since they are trained in the culture, it is very easy to associate. And if they are not trained, let them hear instruction and let them be trained. Let us take the train. So, sannyasi inserts generally in, in public. If lady has question, yes, sannyasi will answer. Why not? But no intimate association. Not that uh, example is given by Bhaktisam Saraswati Thakur. When one couple, young couple came, and Bhaktisam Saraswati Thakur was asked to, um, lady asked, Maharaj, I want to ask you privately something. And he was like his daughter. She was so young and he was in elderly in age. And he said, no, I cannot be alone with a woman. Here, my disciples are here. You speak here. We have nothing to hide. Not, no secrets. Nothing. Cannot be alone. No, but I want to have something private only to you. No, not alone. Not like that. So a lady should never come alone. Neither to Brahmachari, but to speak of sannyas. No? If Ramachari is standing alone and a alone lady comes, whether somebody's wife or somebody's daughter or somebody's mother, lady should not come alone. They should always be accompanied by men. So this is the rule. Because the association with women, we understand to be the stumbling block on devotional progress. And uh, butter and fire is example. So as his Holiness Jadvaita Maharaj pointed rightly in his Bhagavatam lecture in Mayapur, how many sannyasis fell down due to be very strict in dealing with women? Nobody. Not even one. If you are too strict, no problem. But how many fell down because they were loose in dealing with women? Everyone else who fell down, that was the reason. Nobody fell down for eating chicken and smoking cigarettes. You know? Most of the people fell down for us session with women, or there were some political reasons also motivated this, that. But, so being too strict is no problem. <laughs> so, we could see senior devotees, how they deal with women. Jadweta Mahara doesn't look, who is looking, senior devotees, they don't look at when Mataji is sitting, they don't look at their eyes much. They don't make jokes to impress them. They are not, you know, too much speaking unnecessary. Well, it's just official. Kukuk Prashad, that matters. Thank you, Arif. That's finished. No discussion. No. So, Tav Ahrin, Shila Prabhupada's instructions are clear. Chaitan Charitamrita, Chaitan Harira's example is there. Radha Krishna Das, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was a personal assistant, became victim of women in the God's presence. Bhagavan himself, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there and his own personal servant became attracted to gypsy women. So, Maya is always there. Fall down is not. Oh, how did they fall down? How do we fall of anything in Kali Yuga? That's surprise, not how somebody falls down. But definitely, one follows strictly the discipline is safe. 
We are protected by rules, regulations. These rules, regulations are regulations of freedom. They will bring us out of material. Not in the name of compassion we spend time with women, and then you fall down with women in the name of preaching to her. No? <laughs> that, that, that should not be misused. How should sannyas come to women so especially in life? Same. No. Always women should be accompanied by another devotee. If they want to meet, sannyasi speak to him. No private, no exchanges, no phone, privately, nothing. Just like that, through the secretary. Therefore, sannyasi always has assistant brahmachari, and servants are there, and always women should be accompanied by another whole group of devotees.